Howdy ho, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Um, Kenny's trying to get that truck started, and Bonnie's gonna go pee, and it almost sounds like she wants to start an all-girls club or something. I don't know what she's getting at. So yeah, out with them stupid boys, right? We don't know nothing. See what happens next here. Hey. Mike and Orvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Uh. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. I don't know. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. <laughs> Seems like you've done that before. You want to try? No way. It's going to puke. <laughs> Clem, no. <laughs> Hold it like this. Hey, hi. My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. Oh, it puked. It puked. It puked. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There's not much left. Whoa, where did we get that? I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Jeez. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. What's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, some place more. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it wasn't bad. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? Just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington, right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, 
It's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. Ah. Uh. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some hell these men. He got loot killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. Didn't think about that, Kenny. Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Back at the motor in. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? Obviously not. <laughs> You better talk some sense in him. For his sake. Georgia looking for you. A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together and that we should stay away from cities. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew and what people like Jane won't ever understand. I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. Cause we gotta be ready. I 
that's just kind of what my thought is. Just take a breather. It's got the truck going. It's every warm up. What's that? They're all leaving us. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? So, damn it, just we don't have time for this. Just, just be quiet, Clem, please. Ah. Uh. Oh, what do we do here, guys? All right, Clem. Now I'm gonna walk up to you nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? Why are you doing this? He didn't give us any choice. I don't know what to say. Clementine. Oh, it's Lee. Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. Oh. Lily, do this. 
himself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? No. Maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Sometimes it just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. 
You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. Okay. I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around you. You know that. Clem. We could leave, right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Oh gosh, I didn't see the arrow. All right, guys, we're going to end this one here. I don't know, man. It's just a ride. <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Kazmir out.